After allowing in more migrants than all of Europe combined in the past few years, Sweden has yanked the welcome mat. And now Christians are being sent back to their home nations to face certain torture and even death in Muslim nations. CBN's Dale Hurd reports on one such case from Sweden. Sweden is about to deport Iranian Christian actress Aydin Stranson back to the Islamic Republic of Iran, where she faces torture, rape, and even death in an Iranian prison. But as Swedish officials have told Aydin, becoming a Christian was her decision. And now it's her problem, and not theirs. This from a nation that thinks of itself as one of the most humane countries in the world. After all, Sweden is the humanitarian superpower which welcomed refugees with open arms until the government took too much political heat and decided some have to go, whether it kills them or not. Sweden's migration board even violates its own stated principles that it will never deport asylum seekers to a nation where they will be harmed. The migration board has on its home page information about uh, each country. And in the information regarding Iran, there are plenty of reports stating that it is standard to torture and to rape in Iranian prisons. And the question we have been asking the Migration Board time and time again is, why are you putting this information on your home page if you don't follow it? Swedish attorney Gabriel Donner has assisted an estimated 1,000 Christian asylum seekers facing deportation. Do you think in Aydin's case they, they think she's lying or they just don't care? Primarily they don't care. It's numbers. They have promised the public in Sweden that they will deport more people than before. And so they have to fill the quota. Aydin Stranson came to Sweden in 2014 on a work visa and adopted a Swedish last name. She had starred in films and a TV series in Iran, making her an even bigger target if she is sent back. She says she came to Christ in Iran after seeing video of Muslims stoning a woman to death. And I decided that uh, that moment I don't want to be Muslim anymore. In Iran, where it can be deadly to convert to Christianity, Aydin kept her conversion largely a secret. But when she came to Sweden, she requested a public baptism. I want to have it baptized in a public because I want to say I don't afraid anymore. Iranian intelligence most likely knows too. She's already gotten threats from Muslims on social media. Article 33 of the Geneva Convention on Refugees, which Sweden signed, prohibits nations from deporting asylum seekers back to their home countries if they face danger. But that hasn't stopped Sweden. Donner estimates there are 8,000 Christian asylum seekers hiding in Sweden because they're under deportation orders. He says part of the problem is that migration officials don't understand why someone would become a Christian. And they don't understand what it means to be a Christian. Less than 20% of Swedes say they believe in God. This is most apparent when they come to the question when a convert says, I converted because of the love I have received from Jesus Christ. And they almost mockingly ask the convert, what do you mean by love? They don't understand the message in the Bible. It's just completely alien to them. The Swedish Migration Board's press officer told us, if the person has well-founded reasons to fear persecution due to religious beliefs, he or she will be granted asylum in Sweden. But Aydin's asylum request has been rejected, and her case has been turned over to border police. At her hearing, a Swedish migration official told her it wouldn't be as bad for her in Iran as she expected, because she would only have to spend about six months in prison. Donner told us of a similar case where an Iranian woman was imprisoned for becoming a Christian. After her release, she was silent. She did not tell what had happened. After six weeks, she threw herself out from the window on the fourth floor and killed herself. But stories like that may not stop Aydin's deportation. Six months as a woman in a prison is not, no problem. No. They don't care. No, they don't care about it.